Alright then, since we have enough time, we'll be debating about questions. Are you ready? It says, should parents be able to take their kids out of school to work full time? Yes, yes, yes. No, they shouldn't. I'll say no. Why do you say yes, Oscar? Because if they're like, not to be messed up, but like, if they're like, don't, if they don't they have enough money. No, like, if they don't understand <laughs> what they're learning in school, they don't have money for them. So the most, start early or you start late. Well, I had to dis disagree with you, but the reason why I disagree is that I think that parents should not pull up their kids from school because one thing is that education is important. You need education to get a very good career. Unless, you know, you want to drop out of school, be a construction worker, well, that's all on you. But I'm just trying to say that parents should understand that if you want to move your life beyond, you have to have your kids or go back to school and get a good education. It could be something else that would win more money. So, I actually have to disagree with you. Because coming from a coming from a family that is actually like hard working, I feel that I feel that um if you if you um if your child or your your um your sibling does not wanna does wanna does not want an education or is lacking the 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 knowledge to actually make them do something, like to actually make them work, to make them earn their money, not just let them sit around, do nothing. And another reason that I say this is because, like, if they don't want to go to school, let, let them be like that. But if, if you want to um, enforce an education in them, then that's all in the parents. You can't really say, do with this or do that. It's basically all up to them. Well, what do you say? I say that they shouldn't for like example. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, it says that during back then, like it says crowded factories and sweatshops were no with no safety equipment, so like something could like happen to them, they could die, and they had to work long hours, low wages, and like they didn't have like health insurance, so like if they got sick, nobody would really care about it. Actually, I actually have something to contradict that. Okay, so you know how you you just you, know that? you just said that um it's very crowded in the in the factories. If there's it's if it's very crowded, then why would they want even more people? So it could be twice as much crowded. And oh. actually, well, the reason why they want more people is that so that they could finish the work more quicker. They could produce more things more faster. No, the more the merrier. Right. Well, yeah, but even though, even if you have more people, think about it. The the cause of some type of injury or or some type of infection um, produced even faster is gonna be twice as much. But even if you take Wait. people less and less and less, so then you're gonna you're gonna so have less people and finish it in less time. But yet you're gonna your work is gonna be more efficient. So you say, wait, can you say the thing about the infection that didn't quite? I said that if if um. If you're saying that the place, the factory is very crowded, that there could be there could be someone ha having a disease and the disease spreading to all the people. But well, you know what? That's actually the parents' fault because they pulled their kids out to school and send them back to a factory that's very crowded and people may have disease in it. Well, you could still sue the company. Yeah, because well, they you can't still technically, they're not gonna care. I know. You could still sue the Today company. Today is no not like back then. Today is more like work, 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 money, 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 work, 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 money, 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 money. Food, family, yeah, you know. And they wouldn't care because, like they said, they don't have health insurance. They don't provide that. So they really wouldn't care if they got a disease. Even if they didn't care, if it was based on what happened in work, it's a work fault. So then you could sue them and you could get your money. Well, the thing is that. Well, the thing is that. What if the kid. Barely knows English and goes to an English school. Like let's let's say for example he's an elementary schooler and the parents takes him out of school and go work and uh, and he's been friend for something at work or he got injured and he can't speak English very well. That's gonna be on the parents' fault for taking the school out, for taking the student out of the school because the student has to learn more English so that he she could you know be a better person. Oh you know what I mean? You know, to if interact with other English. people. So you're telling me so if they learn you, English, how to talk English, okay. they would be somewhere because, else than that. Because it was mainly immigrants that were working. So and so immigrants, the their immigrants English back then were not so great. So if the immigrants learn English, you're telling me that they're going to get a better job. 
Well, it said. could be that because if they still continue their education and graduate and high school, go to college and all, and they have a high, you know, no, but a you good said, so you're saying English. 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 So you're saying that if they, if they, if they continue not if they went to college, you just said if they spoke English. Yeah, because if, if they, you're not immigrants, they were Chinese, well, they were Asian, they were Hispanic, they were African American, they were people from different places of the world, and they spoke their native language, and they can't speak English. And how are they going to interact with other people that speak English if they, if their parents pull them out of the school to work and they got an injury? And how are they going to interact with the people that speak English? So basically, because what you're saying. Because you're supposed to do both in the same time, in my opinion. Because you're living in the country, how else are you going to communicate? You can, you have to listen, learn English by yourself. You don't speak have to. It. You can go to another state and like talk another language. So basically, what you're saying is that you don't want schools to be um a, di- a diverse school, do you? Because you're saying that you want you want people to talk English and only English. That like you don't want to give the other people an opportunity because you're saying that people. That's not people, what I'm saying. No, but it sounds like you're saying that for no. the same reason that you're saying. Doesn't the same really sound like that. that. Exactly. It does. No, it does because. No, 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 no. no. If I said that if it were to be a diverse school, then that means that. Let's have the white people go to this school. Let's have the Asian go to this school. Let's have the Hispanic people go to this school. Let's have the American, African American people go to this school. You know what I mean? No. Yay! You guys didn't understand. Me. Wait, tell me this. In the news, it says that only a few people graduate. Then well, that's they should drop out early because if they drop out early, then they're gonna get a head start and it's gonna be better for them. Why start well, late? Well, actually, I have to contradict you with that because. If they if they finish their school and they get their diploma or whatever, they can actually have a better opportunity. I know. A better job. And if they were to drop out of school, they'll be. Well, that's because no, they don't but study for hard. the people the people who drop out of school, like they take they take their knowledge and, and what they already have to the world. Like they they don't they don't finish like okay. Say for example that you need you need this to get the job that you want and the job that you know that is gonna get you a lot of money. You take this and you're not and. And like you're not finished, like you're not yet, you're not here yet. So basically, you're gonna stay here for the rest of your life because you're not, you're not gonna be able to know what to do to get here. So you know, add to skill to that. So for example, I know what he's trying to say. Okay, let's go. Alright, so, Bye. Wait, wait, wait.